Pastor Michael. Praise the Lord, my Lord. Amen. Pastor Michael, the Lord has spoken with me today. Yes, my Lord. And on this day, this is the 27th. On this 27th day of the month of October, the year 2011, the Lord has spoken with me, and this is what the Lord says. Well, the Lord, in speaking with me about the coming of the Messiah, the Lord asked me to look up into the sky. And as I looked up into the sky, then I saw the moon. I saw the moon come, and the moon positioned itself between the earth and the sun. The moon passed between the earth and the sun. And then the clouds near there also had lightning. So it was a very spectacular sight to behold. Again, the Lord has shown me that the moon will come and pass exactly directly between the earth and the sun. And I saw the earth go into temporary darkness and then come out of that darkness. But there, also, there was also lightning. There is also lightning that I saw. And it was such a spectacular show in the heavens. So there is going to be an eclipse. The Lord has spoken with me about an eclipse, and you're soon going to see this in your news. When it does take place, you will see it in your news all over the globe, in the global news networks. Again, I'm announcing today from Kenya here, in Nairobi, I'm announcing today on this 27th day of the month of October, the year 2011, that there is going to be a tremendous eclipse whereby the moon will come directly between the earth and the sun and it will eclipse the earth a little bit with its shadow and then I will, there will be a bit of some spectacular lightning on the clouds in the process and these are the signs of the time the Bible says in the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 28 on uh, from again Joel chapter 2 verse 28 on he says after, and afterward which means the messianic dispensation. And afterward, afterward means the messianic dispensation. We have now entered the messianic dispensation where by the church needs to prepare for the coming of the Messiah. We have entered, we have entered into the late evening where the morning is about to take place, when the Messiah comes for the glorious church. But he says afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people, your sons and your daughters will prophesy, your old men will dream dreams, and your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I'll pour out my spirit in those days. Verse 30 is for you. He says, I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and pillows of smoke. So the Lord has shown me the wonders in heaven. There's a tremendous eclipse that is coming over the earth. Again, I am announcing this to the four ends of the earth. There's a tremendous eclipse that is coming over the earth. I'm announcing this to the four ends of the earth, that there is a tremendous eclipse that's coming, and the moon will come right between the sun and the earth, and then eclipse the earth. At the same time, there will be lightning in the clouds, so it will be such a spectacular show of the splendor and mighty majesty of the Lord. Again, I have said that there is going to be a tremendous eclipse. There is going to be a tremendous eclipse. The moon is going to come right directly before the earth and the sun, and the earth is going to be eclipsed. And at the same time, there will be a lot of light. It will be such a spectacular sight to behold, a wonder. And these are the wonders the Lord spoke about in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 30, when he says, And I shall show the wonders in heaven and wonders on earth, fire, smoke, and billows of fire. The, the fire and, and billows of fire, billows of smoke. 
Joel chapter 2, verse 30. Prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. Those who have ears may listen. Shalom.